Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a guide to rare runes. These are the diamond-shaped runes that you can only slot in gear that is mythical quality. First, I'm going to go over my favorite runes, give you some tips, and then I'm going to go through all the rare runes in the game. And I believe I have collected them all, but if I'm missing any, let me know in the comments. My favorite two weapon runes are Curative Perfection and Critical Spark. The Curative Perfection rune here is the perk on Copus Dagger, but I have it slotted on the dagger I got at the Yule Festival. You can slot it in any weapon, and the rune will apply to both weapons as well as your bow. So the weapon runes will apply to any weapons you have equipped. And the Curative Perfection rune restores a low amount of health for each critical hit. And again, that's critical hits with either weapon or your bow. So this is great for survivability. And my second favorite rune is Critical Spark. Who doesn't like fire? Oh, and by the way, these rare runes do not stack. So if you have two of these runes and you put one on your main hand and one on your off hand, you will not get additional fire, damage, or duration. Critical Spark ignites your weapon after critical hits. And now I'm going to step through all the rare runes that I have collected while giving you some tips on how these runes work and how to get them. There's two main ways you can get runes. One is by defeating mini bosses such as Drangers and they have a chance to drop runes and they're random drops. You don't know which ones you're going to get from which enemies. And then the other way you can get these rare runes is once you reach settlement level six, you can buy them from the vendor, from any vendor. And I have a video which shows how you can reset the vendor selection to have a better chance of getting runes that you haven't already gotten before. And so that's the technique I use to collect all these runes. Every time I leveled up, I'd go into the vendor and see if there was a rune on offer that I didn't have. And if there was, I would buy it. And I believe I do have all of them, but if I'm missing one, let me know in the comments. And I'll also put an alphabetical list in the description below. And I've kept all these runes in my inventory. First, because I like to play around with different ones. And second, because honestly, I like how they look. I think the colors are fun. I think the rune symbols on there are just kind of cool. And you have unlimited inventory, so why not keep them? Oh, in this row, you see I have four Curative Perfection runes. They don't stack, but it's nice to be able to have them on different weapons and not have to slot the runes in and out. And now we're coming up on my favorite rune for the bow, the Expert Range rune, which increases attack the further you are from your enemy, which is great since I especially like to use Predator bows, so I'm generally far from my target. I haven't talked much about runes that apply to your bow since I honestly don't use my bow very much in this game. I have a very melee heavy play style. But if you're someone that uses your bow a lot, you're going to want to look for weapon runes that apply to your ranged attacks. And you can put those runes on your bow, your primary weapon, and your secondary weapon. You can actually use three runes affecting your bow at the same time because runes will apply to all the weapons you have equipped. And here at the Fire Guard rune, you can kind of tell what the runes do by the names. So Fire Guard is going to create a small fire around you when you parry. So the runes that say Guard relate to effects when you parry attacks. And runes that say Block apply to effects that are triggered when you block attacks. And you can only block with the shield. So the runes that buff on block, you need to have a shield equipped for them to work. 
but the runes that are triggered by parrying you can use with any weapon equipped because you can parry with any weapon, not just with shields. And as an example, I have two melee block runes which increase melee damage when blocking. That's actually the perk on St. George's shield. So most of these runes are replicating one of the perks from another weapon in the game. So that's one of the things that's pretty unique about this rare rune system here in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In a lot of games, there's no way to get a perk on a legendary item applied to a different item. For example, I used the Copus Dagger for most of my early playthrough, but as soon as I got the Curator Perfection Rune, I didn't need to use the Copus Dagger and I could get the same perk on whatever weapon I was using. And now we're back down to the armor runes. There's only about 10 armor runes and there's over 50 weapon runes. So you don't have as much selection for armor runes. And I typically just use whatever armor rune corresponds to the armor set that I'm using. And now we're at the end of the list. I hope this was helpful. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.